Ladies and gentlemen, here comes the bride, the flower boys, the ring bearers, the dad, the mom, the sister-in-law. We are at the Daniel, Jessica, and everybody, it is pouring. And people are having a ball. And we're, we're tossing petals now on the ground, as you can see. Petals. They're doing excellent work. The sister-in-law is a right-hander. And here she comes, the beautiful Jessica Wolf. I love Jessica Wolf. I love her. She's beautiful. Oh, my God. Dun, 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 dun. This is so wonderful as to beggar the imagination. There they go, Professor Duffin, Professor Wolf, and Professor Wolf to be. The crowd is uh, cheering mainly because they made it without swimming. And now the people are coming in. And that's it for now. This wedding will take place despite quite a downpour. This is Walter Cronkite, somewhere in Kingston, on one of the big, big, big days of Jessica's wolf's life. I can't believe it. Glen Burnie is a special place for both of them. This is where Jessica grew up and where seven years ago she was her brother's best man at his wedding. Wow. I know how much it means to Daniel and Jessica that you have come here today to celebrate with them. In keeping with Glen Burnie's natural beauty, you will all have or will get bubble blowers that you can use instead of confetti. This is a very special day for all of us, but most especially for you, Jessica, and for you, Daniel. Today is your public expression of that most important truth, that you have both had the great good fortune to find a soulmate to share your future with and to build a life together. Surely the most profound experience that life has to offer. This is also a very special day for your parents. I know just how proud they are of both of you, and how happy they are to see you head together into the exciting future that lies ahead of you. I know as well that both you and your families are thinking fondly today of those who could not be here with us. Jessica's paternal grandfather, your Ken Winton Market neighbor, and as you see, the weather is not propitious. Is too frail to make this will be really a wedding to remember. Daniel's paternal grandmother, Ruth Goldman, who died uh, last year and who was the first to hear about their engagement. Unbelievable. Daniel's maternal grandmother, Barbara Epstein, who died in 2010, and who would have thought that it was about time that this wedding happened. <laughs> Jessica's paternal grandmother, Rosemary Wolf, who died in 2004, and he would have had a job for each and every one of you in planning this wedding. <laughs> it's just a shower, the weather father, person Peter said, just Stafford, a shower. He died in 1963. As a young man, he left Thorndale, Ontario to fight in World War II. In London, England, in January 1945, he bought the ring that Jessica will put on today. Ken gave that ring to Jessica's grandmother, Irene Nelson. His war bride, who arrived on the Aquitania at Pier 21 in 1945. Aquitania. Who, whose experience Daniel's grandmother, Ruth Goldblum, would honor some 50 years later by helping to build the Pier 21 Museum. Daniel's ring is based on Irene. She died in 2005, but in her memory, we can all listen a bit more closely to the birds singing in the rain today. <laughs> <laughs> for you and your families and for all of us, the presence in spirit today of those absent loved ones will help us celebrate their enduring places in your lives. 